Hello crafters, welcome again to First Round Fireball. I uh, got pretty deep into that War Machine Hordes game. Uh, it used to offend me to have to buy minis and then put them together, but the sculpts are really good from Privateer Press, um, and the work is enjoyable. You can mod them and paint them. I dig it. Uh, in fact, I took over the two tables we built for a group uh, to assembly line these as best I can during my break. I thought where we'd focus, because I'm having a lot of practice with this lately, is in the gap filling. Uh, this gel super glue, uh, I got it from Starbond. It's a lot cheaper than the Loctite super glue, same thing. Um, but for small crevices, like on that arm, um, you can use this gel super glue, but some of them, they just don't sit right. I don't, this dude looks like he's sitting on a fucking toilet and that gap is just way too big for the gel super glue. Um, so we'll need to work with something else. And this is what I've been experimenting with. Um, the perfect plastic putty like you see here it's not bad but the it has the same problem with that liquid green stuff it's just too wet and sloppy hard to spread around uh i think it's kind of difficult to clean up considering all the limited space you're kind of working in with some of these crevices and the details and whatnot um and, and he, you saw there there's a line that i'll have to go back and kind of file down maybe sandpaper or something get in there and then, if you're OCD, I just might go back and fill those cracks too. But paint and super glue may just do the job there. This Tamaya putty I just got. I haven't played with it yet. But the this green stuff by Nita Tight, it is awesome. Uh, it is. Dense, hard, uh, easy to sculpt though. So I filled in some gaps here around his shoulders. Uh, um, hardly any slap, which I like. Uh, I got enough slop. And then the other thing I liked is that uh, I used the green stuff then to create a front horn to match the box art. That's really what this should be about, is trying to match the box art. Sometimes the minis don't come as shown. Uh, so that front horn was missing on my Thogrosh epic hoozy hoozy. Uh, and then I had extra green stuff, so I was looking around. What can I do with it? And this dude, I think, is missing a front horn. And that green stuff sculpts really well. I, a lot of people doing great YouTube how to's and that's where I'm learning. I'm not gonna go back over that, simply show what I've accomplished. Great gap filler, very clean. Uh, those rubber tipped sculpting tools are really helpful. And then the, the horn on the centerpiece, that front face plate. I dig. Hopefully this does not disqualify me from playing War Machine Hordes with my minis. Uh, I think they're pretty loose about it, though. And then while we're talking about matching box art, uh, this other gargantuan I got, the Archangel, they're these, I don't know, spines right there. Yeah, those did not come with the uh, miniature. Uh, so I figured I'd make mine epic and, I don't know, recreate that. I think here I just ended up, using, instead of sculpting anything, just the ends of toothpicks. I drilled a couple little, I guess, hole slots for them to sit in. Give them a little extra strength. And we'll see how that looks once it's primed and painted. But overall, the uh, drier epoxy or putties, like that need to tight green stuff, uh... Definitely my preferred. And then showing off some of the uh, minis that from the Blighted set. A Legion of Everblight, sorry. That I painted. 
unlike the Warhammer where they kind of want you to paint uh, similar schemes, uh, the Privateer Press War Machine Hordes game, uh, you get a lot of freedom it seems like. So I dig this uh, kind of bronzed armor instead of a lot of the silver. They're already in snow. I think it's light enough. All right, have a great day. Happy crafting.